Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, my resolving system. And I have developed this project in Java Spring Boot Angular and MySQL. So on the Spring Boot site, we have used uh, STS ID for developing the Spring Boot application. And uh, we are using Tomcat server for running this project. And Tomcat version is 9, JDK version is 1.8. Right? On the Angular side, we have used uh, Visual Studio Code for writing the applications and HTML CSS with JavaScript. And for port for front end, we are using port 4200, and for back end, this is Spring Boot, we are using port 8080. MySQL version, we are using MySQL version 5.6, Angular version, we are using 12. Right? So, these all technology stacks we are using for developing this project, and you are uh, needing. Uh, uh, so, you will be needed these softwares and requirements list for running this project. Right? So let's start with the functionality, go through that what we have implemented, what are the features available inside this project, right? So the project title is Marriage Hall Booking System and it's a major project developed in Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL. Major project because it has two types of login, customer login and admin login, right? And customer can register and book the halls, admin can manage each and everything, right? So let's start. So once you run this project on local host 4200, you will get this home page. You can see this is the home page, right? So these are the locations which are coming from the database. You can add any number of locations you want, right? So these are the locations, right? And uh, once you click on the locations, you will be able to see all of the halls, marriage halls, which belongs to that locations. And if you click on the details, you will be able to see the details, right? and all of the reviews posted by different users. So you can see these are the reviews posted by different users, right? And if you want to book this, just click on the book, then after you will be able to book, but there is a restriction. You will not be able to book the halls without login, right? So this is a about page and this is a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. This is the locations, all of the locations which you have added into the database will be displayed here. You can manage the locations from admin panel too. This is all halls, all halls which is available in the database will be displayed here. If you want to search any hall, just write down the name or area, you will be able to see the halls. If you add the area name, then also you will be able to see all of the halls which belongs to that area, right? This is a login. There are two types of login, customer login and admin login. So this is a customer login, admin login, I will explain you later. This is a registration. If you don't have user ID and password, then customer can register from here. This is a contact us page, and this is a dynamic page. If customer puts any of the things here, then it will be saved into the database. Same for the feedback. This is a dynamic, and if mm -hmm. customer puts any of the feedback here, then it will be saved into the database. Now I am going to log in as a customer. So customer ID is amit.gmail.com and password is test. Once you log in, you will get this dashboard. Here you can see my bookings and my account. Once you click on the my bookings, you will be able to see all of the bookings which has been done by you. Once you click on this arrow icon, you will be able to see the details of that booking. This is a my account section from where you will be able to see the account details and after that you can update that account details also. Now I am going to book a hall. So locations I am booking in Chennai location. This is a hall details and there is no comment so you can see the comments box is enabled here if you want to put the comment then it will be saved into the database this is a book hall here you need to enter the card number right this is a static form and we are not validating any of the things we are not making any type of real transactions right here you can enter the name anything what you want to enter here you can enter right the booking amount is 1000 rupees once you click on the make payment your booking receipt will be displayed. So you can say booking ID is this one, booking status is paid, booking amount this, and this is the booking date. Once you click on the print receipt, then it will be printed. You can see this booking in the my booking section. This is the last booking. This is the booking right. The last thing is the logout. Once you click on the logout, all of the session will be expired and above admin menu will not be displayed because it's rendering according to the session of the users. Right. So let me show you logout. You can see you are not able to see my accounts, my administration section. But if you log in, it's showing the my admin section, right? Now I am going to log in as an admin. So admin. Once you click on the 
Miss uh, Wadi. Yeah. So admin. So the user ID is admin, and the password is test. Oh, sorry. Admin and test. Right. So this is admin dashboard. This is a totally different panel, right? There are three types of layout we have used inside the project. The first one is for the customer. Second one is for the admin login. Third one is the admin portal. So this is a third layout, right? So the first is the center management. You can add any number of centers. Miss Mary centers here, right? If you want to add new centers, just click on the add new centers. You need to fill these forms, and here the location, right? And after that that will be saved into the database this drop down will contain all of the locations which is available in the database it's coming from the api this is the locations all of the locations are here right if you want to add new location just click on the add new location and that will be saved into the database this is the all bookings all of the bookings made by the different customers will be displayed here to the admin if you want to see the detail just click on the arrow icon you will be able to see the details of that booking this is a customer management all of the customers who has registered into the database will be displayed here. Even admin can add a new customer from here also. And using that user ID and password, customer will be able to register or log in. This is a contact us report. All of the customer who has submitted a contact us form will be displayed here, right? And this is a feedback report. All of the feedback which has been submitted by the customer will be displayed here. And the logout once you click on the logout then your session will be just expired and you will be redacted to the home login page this is the home login page right so i was telling about the different types of layout so this is the first layout right you can see and this one is the second layout uh, wait so let me show you this is the second layout this had me login and this is the third layout right there are three types of layout we have integrated and it's changing according to the session so these all functionalities we are developing inside this project mar is all booking system as i told you earlier this is a major project developed in java spring boot angular and mysql right major project because it has customer and admin login operations both so if you need any extra features inside this project if you need any enhancement inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much